Carol, your eggs carefully through to the kitchen top scene, Tim. Nursery was really fun today. We made dinosaur eggs out of paper and glue. Actually, mine is a triceratops egg. Oh, and is yours still a diplodocus egg, Tim? Yes. Diplodocus dinosaurs hatch out of eggs. Just like birds and snakes and crocodiles, Miss Maple told us. Oh, wow. Well, come on through to the kitchen. Let's pop them on the table. There you go. But the egg needs a warm, cosy nest to hatch. Oh, you have learnt a lot about eggs today, haven't you? Well done. Who wants some juice? Yes, please, Mummy. I'll get it. Oh, thank you, Tim. That means I can get the washing in. Wow. That is a big egg. Thank you, Tim. Topsy? I've got an idea. What? Maybe we could hatch a real egg. I don't think so. Look at this one. Mummy buys our eggs in the shop. They don't hatch. That's because they're too cold in the fridge. <laughs> if we make this big egg a warm nest, it might hatch. I don't think so. I'm going to try it. And so, I make a lovely cosy nest for the big egg. There you go, Eggie. Come on, Eggie. Hatch. Come, come. Hmm. Maybe you're still not warm enough. I know a place that's warm. our warm airing cupboard, Eggie. I'll look after you. Topsy, I've made a warm, cosy nest for my egg. Tim, when it hatches, will a real chicken come out? I don't know. Maybe it won't be a chicken. It was a big egg. <laughs> I wonder what will hatch out of it. Hmm. Please may I leave the table, Mummy. Yes, if you've finished. Don't forget to tidy your plate away, please. Eggie, a nice cheese sandwich for you to eat when you hatch. Hmm. I wonder what you'll hatch into. Maybe you're a dinosaur egg. Rawr! Can I see you, Tim? Wow, you've made the nest really good. Thank you. Topsy, maybe that egg is a dinosaur egg. But... It's a secret. <clears throat> when it hatches, the dinosaur can live under our bunk bed, Tim. <gasps> Twins! Bath time! Shh! After our bath, we brush our teeth. Straight into bed, Twins. I'll be back up to read your stories. Then we check our big dinosaur egg again. Come on, Topsy. Is it hatching? 
watching. Not yet. Oh. But look. If we put our old baby monitor into the nest like this, when our little baby dinosaur hatches in the night, we'll hear it through the other one. Good idea. Topsy and Tim, hey. into bed, please. Let's get into bed quickly and listen. Night, mummy. Night. Snuggly down. Sleep tight. Good night, mummy. Can you hear anything, Tim? Not yet. Can I have a go at listening? Yeah. Can you hear anything, Topsy? Is the egg hatching? I don't think so, Tim. My turn, please. Thank you. We listened and listened. But we didn't hear anything. And then, I think we fell asleep. Until... <coughs> the egg's hatched, Tim! I think the baby dinosaur has come out of its egg. Come on, let's go and look. Dropsy and Tim, do you know about this? Sorry, Mummy. It's our dinosaur egg. It was going to be our very own pet dinosaur. But it's an egg from the fridge. It's a chicken egg. I'm not happy about this. Sorry, Sorry Mummy. Mommy. Right, you two go back to bed and I'll clear this up. Mummy, don't be angry at Topsy. It was my idea. And it was such a big egg. No. I helped as well, Tim. It was both of us. Sorry, Mummy. All right, you two. We'll talk about it in the morning after a good night's sleep. Night-night, mm. Mummy. Now, Topsy and Tim, eggs from the fridge won't hatch. Even if you put them in a warm and cosy nest. And they certainly won't hatch into dinosaurs. Good, because I don't think I want a dinosaur as our pet. Neither do I. It would be a bit scary. <laughs> <laughs> and it wouldn't fit under our bunk bed. <laughs> <laughs> and that's been Mummy said. I don't, I don't think, think our new house, house will be big enough for a pet dinosaur. I don't think our new house will be big enough for a pet dinosaur but it will be big enough for a smaller pet. We'd love a pet, Mummy. <laughs> yes, that'd be much better than a dinosaur. Yes, it would. Well, good night, Twintastic Topsy and Twintabulous Tim. Sleep tight. Mummy? Mm. Do rabbits hatch out of eggs? No. Night, night. And that, said Mummy, was that. Remembering, can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today, Tim builds a nest, but can you remember what he put in the nest to hatch? Was it Little Moon Bunny or was it an egg? The answer is behind the cloud. Look, the answer is an egg. Great game! That was good fun. See you soon! We 
go to Tiddlywinks Nursery School three mornings every week with our friend Kerry. Hi, Dominic. How are you doing? I'm all right, thanks. And today, we're all going to be given parts in the nursery school play. Come on, let's go. I want to know who I am in the three little pigs. Oh, of course, the play. How exciting. I want to be a little pig. Oink, oink. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> oink, oink. <laughs> Do you want to be a pig as well, Kerry? Yeah. Mummy, can you help oink, me? Oink. Let me help you with your helmet. There oink, we oink, go. Oink, oink, oink. Good oinking, oink, Tim. Oink. Now let me get your helmet oink, on. Oink, 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 Here we go, Tim, darling. Come here. Let me get your helmet on. Good boy. Oh, you're scratching your head a bit. Is it itchy? Yeah. Oink, oink. Did you um? Did you see the email from the nursery school last week? What? Um, yeah. Oh, nits, of course. Mm, well, it just might be. Nits? Mm. Tim, put your helmet down by the kettle for me. I need to get as much light as possible. Mummy tells us that our teacher, Miss Maple, sent an email saying some children at nursery have nits. Mummy checks Tim's hair. If you could not itch your head for me for just a minute. I know it's itchy, but just hold off. Oh, Dominique, yeah. Oh, yes. Yes, you've definitely got nits, Tim. Mm. Oh. Nits make your hair itchy. I know that. Can we go to nursery now, please? Oh, no, I'm sorry, Topsy. Until I've got rid of Tim's nits, you can't go to nursery. Oh. Topsy, has your head been itching at all? Yes, a little bit. And how about yours, Kerry? No. Mine is very itchy. That's it, Kerry. Keep your head nice and still. How did Tim get nits, Mummy? Well, nits can spread from head to head when children play together. What are nits? They're little eggs that get in your hair and when they hatch they can make your head very itchy. <laughs> All clear, Kerry. No nits for you? Yes! Right, Topsy, sit down for me. Let's have a check of your hair. Let me see. <laughs> Yeah, I'm afraid you've got nits like Tim, Topsy. I don't want any nits. Oh, don't worry, Topsy. I had nits when I was your age. Give them out, please, Mummy. We all did, darling. Don't worry. Really? Yeah, and it's how I know I can get rid of them. Now, don't worry, Topsy. Mummy will make everything better. Come sit down. That's right, me. Topsy and Tim. I need to comb your hair. This is a special nit comb to get rid of nits. Right, okay. time to go, Kerry. Come on. Why aren't Topsy and Tim coming to nursery today? Well, they need to stay here so I can get rid of their nits so they don't pass them on to other children. Oh. It's all right. Come on, let's see them out. But we call Miss Nursery today. What about the three little pigs? Oh, don't worry. I'll ask Miss Maple about your parts in the play. I promise. Oh, thanks, Dominique. Look. I'll see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs> not fair! So we don't go to nursery. We stay at home. And Mummy combs the nits out of my hair. It feels all slimy, Mummy. Why have you put hair conditioner in my hair? Because it makes it easier to comb the nits out. Sticky up ears like the three little pigs. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me, Topsy. <laughs> oh, she's still upstairs, Tim. Mummy, mm. when will Topsy come down? Well, I'll go up and get her once I've finished your hair. Hi, Topsy. What are you doing in there? We're all having carpet time. Like we have at nursery school. Oh, Topsy. You really wanted to go to nursery school today, didn't you? Yes. Will we still get our parts in the play, even though we're not there? Miss Maypole will make sure you still get a part. You'll see. Now, come on. 
little moon bunny. OK, you get little moon bunny. There you go. Good girl, and then let's go and get rid of those nits so we can get you back to nursery school tomorrow. Yay! <laughs> I'm nearly there, Topsy. It's taking ages. Well, your hair is longer than Tim's. <laughs> Watch me! <laughs> Put on some special knit music <laughs> and dance for Topsy. <laughs> I do a knit dance. All clear, Topsy. I've got no knit. <laughs> I've no knit hair too. <laughs> with a dancing no knit. <laughs> right, Topsy, you're all done. I'll have to check you again in a couple of days, both of you, just to check there are definitely no more knits, OK? okay Thank you. <laughs> Kids dancing. Right, Topsy, we need to get your hair washed and dried like Tim's and get you ready for nursery oh. school, OK? Follow me. <laughs> Mummy washes my hair. Dries and brushes it, and then Kerry and Dominique came round on their way home from nursery school. Guess what? I'm going to be a little piggy in the play. <laughs> oink, oink, oink. I hope I'm a little piggy too. Oink, oink. Oh, you might be, Topsy. <laughs> Miss Maypole gave Kerry these to give to you both. Inside, it tells you what part you've been given. What part have I got, Mummy? Oh, Am I a little pig? Oh, no, you're a house. A house? A house? <laughs> yes, you're the house. house that the little pigs build. I know that, but it's just not a proper part. Miss Mabel says it's a really good part. You get to play all three houses, Tim. <gasps> yes! <laughs> Oh, and Topsy, this says that you are the big bad wolf. Yes! Oh, I'm a house made of straw. Oh. <laughs> I missed you today, Topsy and Tim. Oh. And that's when Kerry said, <laughs> Will you, you still, still come, come to nursery, nursery school, school when, when you move house? house? Will you still come to nursery school when you move house? We will, won't we, Mummy? We want to do all of the nursery plays with Kerry. Oh, of course you can. I don't know what we'd do without our special friend, Kerry. And that, said Mummy, was that. <laughs> To us today. This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today we had itchy heads, but can you remember what Mummy used to comb the nits out of our hair? Was it a hairbrush? Or was it a nit comb? The answer is behind the cloud. Look, the answer is a knit comb. Watch this. <laughs> All clear, Kerry. No knits for you? Yes! Right, Topsy, sit down for me. Let's have a check of your hair. Let me see. <laughs> yeah, I'm afraid you've got knits like Tim, Topsy. I don't want any knits. Oh, don't worry, Topsy. I had knits when I was your age. Give them out, please, Mummy. We all did, darling, don't worry. Really? Yeah, and it's how I know I can get rid of them. Now, don't worry, Topsy. Mummy will make everything better. Come sit down. Right, it. Topsy and Tim. I need to comb your hair. This is a special knit comb to get rid of knits. Right, okay. time to go, Kerry. Great game! That was good fun. See you soon! 
our friend Ray's here today. Lift, lift it, Tim. We're doing a play called The Three Little Pigs at Nursery School with him. Wow, my costume looks really good. I've got a house costume. Can I try it on? Yeah. Whoa. Right. You put the box like this, Tim. All of our costumes are different, and we're showing them to Dad while Mummy's at a meeting. <laughs> wow. You make a great house, Tim. <laughs> oh, Dad. I can't really get it on. Okay. Put the so can you help me? Yep, yep, yep. yep. Thank you. Hey. I'll put your mask on for you. Ooh, there's a mask. Come on. In the Three Little Pigs, I'm playing the part of the three houses. They get blown down by the wolf. Oh, thank you. Okay. There you go. Put it on there. Thank you. Oh, it's a good mask. Hello. <laughs> I think it suits me. <laughs> so, how does the costume work, Tim? I'm a house made of straw. See? Mm -hmm. So you just twist the house round. And now I'm a house made of sticks. <laughs> Brilliant. And now I'm a house made of bricks. Hey. It's a great costume, Tim. Thank you. I like your tie. Now, Mummy told me you all need to practice what you have to say in the play. Is that right? Oh, yes. But the house doesn't say anything. Mm -hmm. The narrator does. That's me. I tell the story. Oh, and we act it out. OK, come on then. Let's see. OK. But we need the big bad wolf. Oh, Topsy! Topsy! Coming! I'll huff and I'll puff <laughs> and I'll blow your house down. <gasps> Boys, there's a wolf in the house. No, it's me, Dad. Oh, phew. <laughs> So, we're going to practice your play, Topsy. Yes. Ready, Mr Wolf? Yes. <laughs> so, Tim, at the beginning of the play, you are a straw house. Oh. Stand there, please. OK. And Topsy, the wolf's not in yet. Sit there, please. OK, Ray. Thank you. So, I say our story begins when... Is that the door, Daddy? It's a lady and a man. Oh, it's the people who are coming to look around our house today. Oh. Mummy told me, but I forgot. I'll get the door. Oh, okay. Hi. Uh, uh, our house is for sale. Hi. I mean, it's a bit messy. Sorry. Oh, don't worry. And these people might buy it. We're practicing our nursery school play. <laughs> it's called the Three Little Pigs. Oh. Who are you? We're Sam and Trish. And who are you? Oh, I'm the three houses. I'm the wolf. Rawr! And I'm the narrator. Gosh, those your real names? Not no. no. <laughs> <laughs> We're Topsy and Tim. We live here. And this is our friend Ray. <laughs> Sam and Trish are here to look around our house. Are you going to buy our house? <laughs> I don't know. We need to look around it first. Come and see our kitchen. Oh, lead the way, <laughs> Big Bad Wolf. Tim, but shall yeah. we practice the straw house bit on our own? No, not yet. I need to show Sam and Trish the house with Topsy. Sorry. OK. I'll come back later to play with you. This is our art stuff. We've got paintbrushes and beads. <laughs> this is the fridge with all the bar pictures on. Oh. <laughs> That's our table. Oh. And this is the back door. <laughs> Dad, hmm. can I show Trish and Sam the upstairs rooms now? Oh, of course you can. Thanks for helping, Topsy and but Tim. But I need to show them the garden first. Oh, I knew that. Come on. Trish and Sam look at our garden. And then Tim shows them upstairs. <laughs> I'll get it, I'll get it. Go on. Ooh, the house is stuck on the stairs. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
when I'm going to practice the bass up dancing. Soon, Ray. Yes, we won't be long, Ray. So this is your room, is it, Tim? Yes. And mine. I sleep on the top bunk, bed, and I sleep on the bottom bunk. <laughs> Aww. Is this your bunny, Topsy? Yes. It's Little Moon Bunny. What else could we show them, Tim? <gasps> Mum and Dad's bedroom. Oh, careful. Uh, come with me. Lovely room. Mm -hmm. We like your house, Topsy and Tim. Well done, twins. I'll make our visitors some tea and you can finish showing them around. OK, Dad. Can we have biscuits too, Dad? <laughs> I'll see what I can do. So we get biscuits. Chocolate biscuits. Yum. <laughs> and jammy biscuits. While Sam and Trish look at every room in our house. Again. Good balancing, Tim. You like a biscuit? Oh, not for me, thank <laughs> you. <laughs> Thanks for showing us round, Topsy and Tim. You have a lovely family home. Did you know something? We've lived this since we were babies. Oh, that's nice to know, Tim, cos I'm having a baby. <laughs> <laughs> so you've got a baby in your tummy, like Tony Walters, Mum? Well, two, actually. <gasps> two? <laughs> twins? Yeah, we're expecting twins. <laughs> twins? Like us? Yes. Twins are the best. <laughs> yes, they are! <laughs> so we should let Trish sit down, shouldn't we? Yeah, thank you. So are you going to buy our house then? I don't know. We've got to think about it first. Would you like to watch us practice our play while you think about it? We'd love to stay and watch a little bit of it. Great! <laughs> Please may we, Daddy? I don't see why not. <laughs> I hope you do live here with your twins. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> and that's when Sam said, this, this is just the sort of happy house we'd like to buy. This is just the sort of happy house we'd like to buy, Topsy and Tim. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. The babies are moving around inside my tummy. I think they like this house too. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Topsy and Tim, let's show the grown-ups our play. Yes, Ray's been very patient. Yes. Ready to watch your play now, please, Ray? Tim, you stand here. And Topsy, the wolf's not in yet. OK. I'll Ready, everyone? Yes. Yes. yes! The Three Little Pigs. Our story begins when the first little pig built a house of straw. And you're about to meet him now. <laughs> <laughs> and that, said Ray, was that. <laughs> Hello. Are you good at remembering? Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> We were practising our nursery school play today. Can you remember who dressed as a wolf? Was it Tim? Or was it Topsy? The answer is behind the cloud. Look, the answer is Topsy. Great game. That was good fun. See you soon. Ah! <laughs> Hello, Topsy 
see the wolf? Hi, Grandma. Where's Mummy? Is she all right? It's fine. She's in the kitchen. Mummy! Hello. Ah! Oh! <laughs> there you are, my little wolf girl. Mummy, I'm the big bad wolf. Yes, of course you are. <laughs> <laughs> May I have a look at your bandage, please? Yes. Are you all right? Of course I am. Where's Tim? He's outside. He's coming in in his house costume. Should we go and find him together? Yeah. Come on. Here you come. That's it. Find the step. Come on, Tim. Oh, oh, you look great. <laughs> mummy, mummy, mummy. Well, how's your wrist? Please, may I hug you? Oh, of course you can. My wrist is fine. I want to hug with both of you, please. Mm. Oh, thank you. I'm so sorry I missed your nursery school play, Topsy and Tim. It's OK. It's OK. Have you been to hospital? Yes. Mm -hmm. I went to see the doctor and he said my wrist is fine, it's just a sprain. <laughs> That'll teach me to go running and then I fall flat on my face. <laughs> <laughs> Have a seat, George. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Over here. There we go. Let Mummy sit down there. That's it. Now, tell us all about your performance of The Three Little Pigs. It was great! We bowed like this. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wonder who that could be. I don't know! I'll go and get it. <laughs> Hello, come in. Hi, Hello, Ray. Hey, have a seat, then. Hi. How's your arm, Joy? Oh, it's absolutely fine, thank you, Farah. <laughs> Nothing serious. I'm just so sad I missed their play. Surprise! We're going to do our play, The Three Little Pigs, again. Now, just for you, Mummy, right here. Oh, that's fantastic! <laughs> OK, we're going to need a stage. Oh, Let's yeah. move the sofa. Right. George, 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 we get ready to do the play for Mummy, exactly like we did at nursery school, with Ray as our narrator. Until I remember something important. Oh, no! We can't do the, the play, Three Little Pigs, because we haven't got anyone to be the pigs. <gasps> we do. Yes, I'm going to be a pig. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be good at the pigs, Daddy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you need a nose. Ooh. And please snort loudly. You're <laughs> 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 going to be the best pig. Get my nose on. You ready? <laughs> 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 And this will be another pig. <laughs> Hello. 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 Here she is. There you go. Aww. See you later, Carrie. Hello, bye, bye, bye Dominique. Bye, 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 So the first little pig and the second little pig went to find the third little pig who had built himself a house of bricks. Knock, knock, knock. Who is it? It's us. Can we come in? Yes, you can. <laughs> <laughs> All three little pigs were safely inside the house of bricks. Until one of them finally looked out the window. <gasps> Hello, who's this coming up the garden path? It was the big bad wolf. I'm the big bad wolf, and I'm still hungry. <laughs> little pigs, little pigs, let me come in. Not by the hair on our chinny chin chin. Then I'll half. 
and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. But no matter how hard she blew, the big bad wolf could not blow down the house with bricks. So... Look out, wolf. You're not having us for your tea. Here comes a wolf chasing ball. Three little pigs through the wolf chasing ball, the big bad wolf. lived happily ever after. The end. Oh, I can't clap. Oh, poor Mummy can't clap. <laughs> Mummy! <laughs> Mummy! That was such a loud whistle. Well, you really deserved it. Yes, you. <laughs> Yes, top Z. Can you teach me as well? You know, at nursery school, mm -hmm. everyone had their pictures taken with their mummy and dad and their daddies after the play. Would you like a picture of you and Tim with mummy and me? Yes, please. OK. <laughs> oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's lovely. Can you get a little bit more? Thank you. Ready, everybody? Three, two, one. Loved having our photographs taken. And then Mummy told us some big news. Now, I had an exciting phone call today while you were doing your nursery school play. Do you remember Sam and Trish who came to see our house last week? Yes. Well, they've decided they want to buy our house. <laughs> <laughs> That's when Dad said, we've sold our house. We've sold our house, Topsy and Tim. We've sold our house, everybody. Yes. Yes, darling. Does that mean we're definitely moving house? Yes, it does, Tim. Is that OK? Yes, I'm OK. <laughs> oh, hooray for Tim! Well done. And that, said Mummy, was that. Hello. Hello. Are you good at remembering? Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene, Tim, memory game. Let's play. <laughs> Today, we performed our play for Mummy. But can you remember what part Dad played? Was it the big bad wolf? Or was it a little pig? The answer is behind the cloud. Look, the answer is a little pig. Watch this. Oh no, we can't do the, the play, Three Little Pigs, because we haven't got anyone to be the pig. <gasps> we do. Yes, I'm going to be a pig. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be good at the pig, Daddy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you need your nose. Oh, okay. oh no. And please snort loudly. <laughs> <laughs> My nose on. You ready? <laughs> Great game. That was good fun. See you soon. Come on, Tim. We're moving house soon, so Mummy says we should give away some of our old toys. 
She wants us to put old toys that we don't play with anymore into a big box. Then take them to the charity shop for other children to buy. Are you okay, Tim? No, Mummy. I don't want to give away our old toys. Oh, Tim. Come on. One step at a time. I'll help. Thank you, Topsy. <laughs> OK, Topsy and Tim, please try and find some old toys and fill up this box. I don't want to. It's not fair. We love all our toys, Mummy. Oh, please try to find some old toys that you don't play with anymore. Um, oh, you could start by looking in here, Tim. There you go. And I will come back in a minute to see how full the box is. Oh, this box is full of all my old cards. This one was always my favourite. Come on, Tim. You need to be putting some of your old toys in the box. I don't want to. I'm going to try. Bye bye, old Teddy. Topsy. <laughs> Sorry, Tim. Keep on throwing the toys down, and I'll catch them. Bye-bye, mm. Knitted Zebra. So I throw Cheeky Duck and Knitted Zebra and Digger down to Tim, and all my other toys from the shelf too. Bye-bye, Monkey Hen. Bye, Big Monkey. Finished. I've hidden everything, all our old toys, under the bed, so we can keep them. <laughs> can I see? Yes. <laughs> Hello, Chicky Duck. Tell Mummy that we want to keep all of our old toys, Tim. I know that. Apple juice and biscuits for the workers. Oh. Why aren't there any old toys in your charity box? You say. No, you say. <laughs> We're sorry, Mummy. We hid all of our toys under the bed. Because we want to keep them. Oh, Topsy and Tim. You don't have to give away your old toys if you don't want to. But it would be a very kind thing if you did. Why? Well, because you don't play with them anymore, do you? And other children might like to. We're moving house soon, and that's the perfect time to get rid of anything that we don't need anymore. I've decided that my toys can go in the box. Are you sure about this, Topsy? Yes, I don't play with them anymore. And other children might like to. Oh, that's very kind of you, Topsy. Good girl. Tim? I don't want to give away my old cars, Mummy. Even though Topsy's giving away her teddies? No, thank you. But someone else would love to play with your old cars, Tim. Really? <laughs> How about if you chose one to keep and you gave the rest away? <gasps> OK. I know exactly which car I want to keep. This one. 
My fast it's flashing silly. car. <laughs> <laughs> well Excuse me, Tim. Coming through. Beep, beep. Beep, 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 beep. I can't see where I'm going. <laughs> the charity shop are going to be so pleased with all the bar old toys, aren't they? Oh, they really are, Topsy. This is Odell. Hello. I'm Robbie from the estate agent. Come to put your soul sign up. Oh, great. Thank you, Robbie. Oh, Mummy, please may I help Robbie put the sign up? Yes, of course you can, Tim. Just stay safely on the front lawn for me. OK. Sold. Yes, sold. Somebody's going to buy your house. Did you know that? Yes, they're called Trish and Sam. We've met them and they're going to have twin babies. That looks like a good car. This is my favourite car. It goes really, really fast. Look. That is a great car. My little boy, Peter, had one just like that, but he lost it at the beach. Robbie? Yeah? Will you give this card to Peter? Really? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Today, we're giving some of our old toys away. And I want this one to be Peter's. Well, that's very kind. Tim, isn't it? Yes. Well, Tim, my little boy will take very good care of your car. And I'll make sure he doesn't lose it. Thank you. You're a very kind boy. You did it, Tim. Well done, Tim. I'll never give you away, little moon bunny. Mm. Never, ever. And I'll never give you away, Dr Sausage Dog and Eddie Teddy. I love you two. <laughs> and that's when Mummy said, Soon there will be new baby twins in this bedroom. Soon there will be new little baby twins in this bedroom, Topsy and Tim, and all their toys. Oh, yes. Sam and Trish are going to have new twin babies, aren't they? Mummy, I'm going to find one last old toy to leave in this room for the new babies. Oh, okay, Me too. So, all right, you two, but not right now. Back into bed and snuggle up. It's a great idea, mm -hmm. and you can both do it in the morning. Right now, it's time for sleep. Night, night, twin tastic Topsy, twin tabulous Tim, and all your toys. And that, said Mummy, was that. Good at remembering. Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today, we cleared out some of our old toys. Can you remember which toy I gave to Robbie? Was it Chicky Duck? Or was it my fast flashing car? The answer is behind the cloud. Look, the answer is Tim's fast flashing car. Watch this. Robbie? Yeah? Will you give this card to Peter? Really? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Today, we're giving some of our old toys away and I want this one to be Peter's. Well, that's very kind. Tim, isn't it? Yes. Well, Tim, my little boy will take very good care of your car and I'll make sure he doesn't lose it. Great game! That was good fun. See you soon! sticks on the way home from nursery school. 
Look at my funny stick, Mummy. Oh. <laughs> Hello, I'm Sticker. <laughs> Hello, Sticky. My favourite is this funny knobbly stick. Sticky is the best stick, Tim. Hello, nice to meet you. Da, 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 da. <laughs> You're a very good stick finder, Topsy. I know. Look, she's even got a face, Tim. Yeah, <laughs> I've got a face. <laughs> she's funny. Yes, she is funny. What a wonderful stick collection, Topsy and Tim. Can you put them down here on this newspaper for me, please? OK, okay Mummy. Okay. Thank you. The key needs to be put down. <laughs> right, who's thirsty? Me! <laughs> Hello, Grandma. <laughs> His name's Sticky. Oh. He's got a face, head, arms and everything, really. Well, that's Hello. fantastic. Nice Hello. to meet you. Can I have a little look at him? Oh, isn't he lovely? I tell you what, Topsy, why don't you put him down with all his other sticks? Then can enjoy that because... I want my Hello, Grandma Huckle, Topsy and Tim. Squeeze! <laughs> <laughs> Mossy likes our sticks. <laughs> I think Mossy and Grandma must be thirsty after their long walk. Into the kitchen, everyone. Oh, lovely, yes, please. Can I have apple juice, Mummy? Come on, Mossy. <laughs> sticky! Mossy's got sticky! Oh, Mossy. You know sticks aren't good for you. Finding things. Thank you, Tim. And tell Topsy not to worry. Sticky will turn up. OK. Please show us where you've hidden Sticky, Mossy. I'll let you cuddle Little Moon Bunny if you do. Come on, Mossy. Mossy. She's really tired. It was a long walk to our house. Topsy, have you tried looking underneath Mummy and Dad's bed for Sticky? No. I'll go and look there for you. I look under Mummy and Dad's bed. I look in the bathroom. But no Sticky. You put sticky. Topsy, have you tried looking underneath Mossy and see if Mossy's lying on sticky? I hadn't thought of that. Well, if I just look under here. Have you twins found sticky yet? Not yet, Grandma. Hmm. Come on, Mossy. Please stand up. Get up. I know. <laughs> well done, Tim. Oh, no, 
sticky. Oh, I give up. I'll keep looking. Penny, look. Has Marcy shown you where she's put sticky yet? Not yet, Grandma. Silly, sleepy dog. Come down and see what I found for you instead. And if she doesn't bring sticky back soon, I'll check on her myself. Here she comes. Come on, honey bun. What about this long stick, Topsy? It doesn't have a face like Sticky. Mm. What about this one? No, thank you, but I just want Sticky. Oh. Come and see here. Do you know what I do when I lose things? No, Grandma. I find something else to do. And then, just when I've stopped thinking about the thing I've lost, I find it. Does that work? Always. Just you wait and see. Come and have some juice. And that was when I saw something. It was in our letterbox. A letter! Tim, a letter! Is it for us? Is this for us? Oh, I don't know. Let's see. Can you read whose name's on the front, Topsy? It says... Topsy, Topsy and Tim! Tim. <laughs> we'll bring it into the kitchen and let's open it. Come on. Mummy, we've got a letter. Let's open it together, Tim. <gasps> Is this an invitation? <laughs> to a party? Let's have a look. Topsy and Tim are invited to Vinda's Knights and Princesses party. How exciting. It's on Friday. Oh. <laughs> We're going to Vinda's party. We're, We're going, going to Vinda's party. <laughs> Hello, Mossy. What have you got there? <laughs> Sticky. Good girl, Mossy. Sticky, where were you? Thanks, Mossy. That's right, Topsy. Give her a lovely cuddle to say thank you. You were right, Grandma. When I forgot about Sticky, I got her back. You see? Well, I think it's time for me and this staff dog to get going. We've got a long walk home. OK. Right, come on, Mossy. And that's when Mummy said, What, what are you going to wear to Vinda's fancy dress party? What are you going to wear to Vinda's fancy dress party, Topsy and Tim? I'm going to be a knight! Oh! <laughs> Me too! <laughs> and I'm going to use Sticky as my sword! Lucky you got her back then! And, and that's it, Grandma! Was that? Today, this is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> Today, Topsy's favourite stick, Sticky, went missing. But can you remember who ran away with Sticky? Was it Grandma? Or was it Mossy the dog? Is Mossy the dog? <coughs> Did you remember? Watch this. Squeeze! <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> Mossy likes our sticks. <laughs> I think Mossy and Grandma must be thirsty after their long walk. Into the kitchen, everyone. Oh, lovely, yes, please. Can I have apple juice, Mummy? <laughs> Come on, Mossy! <laughs> Good fun. See you soon. Dad's asked us to post some leaflets for him today. Thank you. To people who might want to use one of his helpful driver's minibuses. 
We need to get them to the post box on time. You two are very good at stuffing envelopes. We are. I put the leaflet in the envelope, then I pass it to Tim, and then I seal it and stick stamp on it. <laughs> I love doing envelopes for Dad. Well done. And Dad will be very pleased if we can get all of these posted today. Yeah, yes. he will. How will we get all of this post to the post box? Mm. Are you how? How? Oh, where is it? Ah. In our trolley. Oh, good idea, Tim. Doorbell, I'll get it. Well, I'll open the door. Okay. It's Mr. Rosen! And two of his oh. friends. Hello, Topsy and Tim. Hello, Mr. Rosen! Oh, hello, Mr. Rosen. Hello, Mr. Everybody. Rosen. Please come in. Mr. Rosen tells us that he and his friends were just driving past our house in the helpful driver's minibus when the minibus stopped working. The minibus doesn't work. Look! in the minibus, Mr Rosen. Well, uh, Mr Rosen tells us that he and his friends were going on an outing to the theatre today when their bus broke down just outside our house. Uh, I'm sure the driver will fix it for you, Mr I Rosen. I hope so. Please, Ooh. please sit down, make yourselves comfortable. Oh, and maybe you. you would like a cup of tea. Oh, oh yes, thank you. Yes. <laughs> <sighs> what a day. <laughs> oh, no. Let me introduce all my friends to each other properly. <clears throat> uh, Mr. Nicholas and Miss Kidd, these are my good friends, Topsy and Tim. <laughs> Topsy and Tim, these are my great friends, Mr. Nicholas and Miss Kidd. Hello. Hello. Oh, very pleased to meet you, Topsy and Tim. We've heard such a lot about you two. Would you like to know a secret about Mr. Nicholas? Yes, please. yes, please. He can do a very good owl impression. <coughs> <laughs> and, um, wow! Would you like to know a secret about my friend, Miss Kidd? Yes, please, yes, please. She can play the ukulele. What's the <laughs> ukulele? This is a ukulele. Ukulele. It looks like a small guitar. You're right, Tim. Miss Kid always brings her ukulele on our bus journeys. Can you play it for us, please, Miss Kid? Yes, please. Of course I will. Um, let me see. Sister Topsy, Sister Topsy, brother Tim, brother. The bus is broken outside. We're all here inside with Topsy and Tim. With Topsy and Tim. <laughs> oh, oh, you are good. Thank you, Tim. There's tea and biscuits in the kitchen now. Yay! Come on, Mr. Rosen. Please, will you show me how to play, Miss Kid? Yes, I will. Are you home? Anybody take sugar? Yes, please. <laughs> Three. Okay. <laughs> That's very unusual, Mr. Nicholas. While Tim plays the ukulele, I put sugar into Mr. Nicholas's tea. He drinks it with three sugars. One. Two. Three. Oh, thank you, Topsy. <laughs> Good gracious. What a lot of envelopes. Can we help? Yes, we can tidy up the envelopes. Oh, lovely. In time to Tim's music. Good idea. Some juice, juice for you. Thank you, Miss Kid. Oh, thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> very good, Tim. Thank you. <laughs> Try pressing here with a finger on your other hand. And strum again. That's so 
sounds even better. Yes, that's because you're playing a chord. A chord? What's a chord? That's what musicians call it when you put your fingers on here to make nice music. Mummy, stop singing and playing a chord. Well done, Tim. And there are songs we can all sing if you keep strumming that chord. Get ready to sing, everybody in the kitchen. Okay. Okay. <laughs> There were ten in the bed, and the little one said, Roll over, roll over. There were four in the bed, and the little one said, Roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over, and one fell out. There were three in the bed, and the little one said, Roll over. Roll over, so they all rolled over and one fell out. There were two in the bed. Oh, I'm sorry, Miss Kid. I think I've broken your ukulele. No, Tim, you haven't broken it. I just need to do this. Watch. <laughs> Miss Kid, retunes the ukulele, so it sounds great again. There we go. <laughs> now you can play it again for us all. OK. Get ready to sing, everyone. OK. Ready? Ready? There were two in the bed and the little one said, Roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell out. It's the last envelope! There was one in the bed and the little one said, teaching me how to play the ukulele. <laughs> <laughs> it was so much fun helping you, Tim. Thank oh, you. Hello. Hello. The minibus is fixed, everyone. Hooray! Hooray! Look at the state of my hands. Yeah. Oh, you can wash them in the kitchen if you like, straight on for me. Thank you. We're going to the theatre. Yeah. Hooray! <laughs> Tip top, off we pop. <laughs> what did you say, Miss Kid? Oh, Miss Kid always says, tip top, off we pop whenever she's leaving somewhere. Please, can you say it again, Miss Kid? Tip top, off we pop. Oh, or how about tip topsy, off we popsy? <laughs> <laughs> or oh, Tim Topsy, off we posty. You've got all those envelopes to oh, post, remember? Yeah. Okay, the trolley. And that's when Mr. Rosen said. There's plenty of room for you and your trolley in the minibus. There's plenty of room for you and your trolley in the minibus, Topsy and Tim. We can give you a lift to the post box. Yay, yes, thank, thank you. you! Well, come on, everybody. What do we say? Tip top, off we pop. And that said, everyone, was that? Remembering, can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today we had a sing song, but can you remember what instrument Tim learned to play? Was it a ukulele or was it a recorder? The answer is behind the clouds. Look, the answer is a ukulele. Great game! That was good fun. See you soon! Carrie's come round to show us her costume. For Vinda's party tomorrow. It's a Knights and Princesses party. You're a really pretty <laughs> princess, Carrie. Thank you, Topsy. I'm going to be a red knight at Vinda's party. What are you 
going to be, Tim? I'm going to be a green knight. Do you want to see our costumes? Oh, Karen? yes, please, Topsy and Tim. Kerry, <laughs> um... your mum's here. Oh, we were about to show Kerry our knight costumes. Tomorrow, Topsy, at Vinda's party. But right now, Kerry's mum needs her to go. I'm going shopping with my mummy to go and buy Vinda's birthday present. <laughs> we need to buy Vinda a birthday present too, mummy. I've already bought Vinda's present. You'll see. Come on, let's go down. Come on, Topsy. Come on, Tim. So we say goodbye to Kerry. Bye, Kerry. Bye, Joy. Bye, Kerry. Bye, Kerry. See you soon, darling. Bye, Bye. Dominique. And Mummy tells us that Vinda's birthday Bye. present is being delivered to our house soon by the supermarket delivery van. I'll see it before you. No, I will. I'll see the van before you. What is Vinda's present, Mummy? What have we bought her? Just keep looking out of the window for me, please, Topsy and Tim. See if you can see that van. We wait for the supermarket van for ages. Eddie, Teddy and Little Moon Bunny help. Can you see anything, Little Moon Bunny? I think it will be Howard delivering all the shopping today. No, Stuart. Actually, Rosie. <laughs> yes, Rosie. Mm. I think I heard the van. Really? There it is. I can see it. Should we get this shopping into the kitchen? Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, six bags. bags. Wow. <laughs> Where's Vinda's present, Mummy? Oh, is it someone's birthday? Yes, it's our friend Vinda's birthday. We're going to her party tomorrow. Her present's in one of these bags. Lucky Vinda. Now, shall we write our names as usual? Yes! Mummy, can you sign your name here for the shopping? Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and whose turn is it to Mine write my... their name next to Mummy's? It's mine this time. OK, Tim, you write your name nice and clearly for Rosie, please. OK. Mmm. <laughs> Lovely writing. Thank and you. it's your turn next time, Topsy. OK. All right, I've got to go. See you later. Bye. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Rosie. Well found, Topsy. Oh, cool. It's got princesses and dragons. Mummy, did you get a card? Look what I found. <laughs> oh, and there's the <laughs> card. Gave you my wrapping paper to wrap up Vinda's present, Mummy. Yes. It's on the receipt. Oh, the supermarket must have forgotten to send it. Oh, no. Um. Any wrapping paper to wrap up Linda's present with. Don't worry, I'll call Dad and ask him to get some on his way home. Yes! Yes! Hi, Bri, it's me. Yeah, no, everything's fine. Um, please could you pick up some wrapping paper for us on the way home? Okay, no, no, no problem. Yeah, okay, we'll see you later. Bye. Yes! yes. What, what did he say, Mummy? What did he say? Oh, Daddy's a bit too busy at work, so he can't pick any up at the moment. We'll have to think of something else. But Linda's birthday party is tomorrow. Yeah. What are you going to do? I know! We can make our own wrapping paper. That is a fantastic idea, Topsy. Why don't you two put your aprons on and I'll get all this tidied up. Now, will you rip it, Tim? This. Linda loves butterflies, so I'm going to paint butterflies on her wrapping paper. I'm going to paint multicoloured spots. 
right. Painting the wrapping paper is easy, but waiting for it to dry takes ages. After a bath, I come down to see if it's ready. It's dry! I'll wrap the present! And I'll do the sticky shape! Oh, yes! Brilliant. Tim, you sit in there for me. Topsy, you come and sit in here. Brilliant. Oh, that's the present. Okay. Oh. Are you close then? There you go. Oh, perfect wrapping, twins. Great teamwork. Need one more piece. <laughs> one more piece. There you go. Yay! Yes! Perfect. Well now for the card. Mm -hmm. Happy birthday, love. From. but I found this in my van, butterfly wrapping paper. Is it to wrap Linda's birthday present? Yes! yes. Good. I thought it was yours. I'll see you next time. Wish Linda a happy birthday from me. Aww. OK. Bye. 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 See you Bye. Soon, Bye. 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 Thank you. <laughs> so, shall we unwrap Linda's present and wrap it in this paper, Tim? No, I've got an idea. Maybe we can wrap this wrapping paper over our wrapping paper. Like our sparsel. Yeah. Good idea, Tim. It's your turn to wrap this time. I like wrapping presents. I love opening presents. Well, it's your next birthday very soon, so you'll have lots of presents to open then, won't you? Yes. And that's when Mummy said, I can't, I can't believe, believe my little, little twins are going to be five years old. I can't believe my little twins are going to be five years old on their next birthday, Topsy and Tim. <laughs> five? Wow! It's a big number! I think we should have a fabulous five birthday party at our new house. What do you think? Yes, yeah. please! <laughs> right, let's get wrapping this present so that you two can get off to bed and be wide awake for Vinda's party tomorrow. And that, said Mummy, was that. <laughs> Good at remembering. Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today we wrapped Brinda's present. Was her present a teddy bear? Or was it a sticker book? The answer is behind the cloud. Look, the answer is a sticker book. Watch this. <gasps> is this her present, Mummy? <laughs> Stickers? A sticker book. Well found, Topsy. Oh, cool. It's got princesses and dragons. Mummy, did you get a card? Look what I found. Oh, there's a card. Great game! That was good fun. See you soon! Today is Vinda's Knights and Princesses party and we're going to dress up and be knights. Look at me, Tim! I'm a knight! Louis.
Louise, Ray and Andy Anderson yeah. are all going to be knights as well. I don't mind. I'm a red knight. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, Tim. I've got your green knight costume ready for you to try on. In a minute, Mummy. Hurry up, Tim. Oh. Hello. Okay. Oh, I see. Come on, Tim. Please, can you try on your knight's costume now? No, I just want to finish my game. Nope, don't worry. Yep, we will take very good care of Tony. Okay, bye. <gasps> what wonderful news. What is it, Mummy? Tony Welch's mum is about to have her baby. She's on her way to hospital now. Wow! <laughs> So Tony is coming to our house. His dad's going to drop him off. Great! <laughs> will Tony come to Binder's party as well, Mummy? Yes, you will be invited. So we can all go together. I wonder what Tony will be dressed up as. Probably a knight. I look out for Tony while Tim plays. Soon. You could choose something from my dressing up things, Tony. No thanks. My next party is going to be a, an animal party. What animal will you be? A horse! <laughs> I'll be a horse too. Like this one. Come up the stairs. Okay, Tony. Tony. And your two legs wearing those makes one, two, three, four legs. The four legs of a horse. Oh, I see. Hmm. I'll be the horse's front legs. You can be the horse's back legs. This is going to be fun. Put them on, Tony. What are you doing? I wish you and Tony would dress up for Vinda's party. Please. Yes. Tim, <laughs> we'll be leaving for Vinda's party in ten minutes. OK, Mummy. I found my horse's head. Cool. Can you take these eyes off me? Find a tail. Nay, 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 nay. <laughs> Great. Now let's use one of Dad's long football socks as the tail. I'll hold the horse's tail at the back. Swishy, swashy, swishy, swashy. <laughs> you tell the boys we're ready. Tim, Tony, it's time to go! We're coming! Let's practice 
is walking. Ready? Ready. Left. Now right. Left. 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 Right. down the stairs. Wait there. We need to be very careful. We're still getting used to walking together. I'm sure. Are you okay back there, Tony? Yes, thank You're you. <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't wear your Green Knights costume you made me. Well, that's okay. I think your horse costume is much better. I hope you want to be a knight another time. Yes, please. <laughs> now, I think I should take a photograph of you all. What do you think? Yes! Okay, come on round here. Grab my camera. Why don't you go round here so Mummy can see you? Perfect. You get yourselves into good positions. Come round here for me. Tony at the back. Lovely, are we? Horse <laughs> are we ready? One, two, three, smile. Perfect. Now, who's ready to go to a party? Me! Me, me, me I am. <laughs> no, I'm a red knight with my very own horse. <laughs> and together we've got the best costumes, haven't we, you two? Yes. <laughs> you really do. <laughs> oh, hold on just a minute. I've, I've just got a text message. It's from your dad, Tony. And that's when Mummy said... Tony's mum has just had a baby boy. Tony's mum has just had a baby boy. And his name's going to be Jack. Jack! 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 I like that name. Yay! <laughs> I think you will make a brilliant big brother, Tony. I will. Yay! I'm a big brother. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we tell everyone about baby Jack at Vinda's party? Yeah! Come on, then. Let's go. To us all. Said Mummy, was that? <laughs> Hello, are you good at remembering? Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today, Tim and Tony dressed up as a horse. Can you remember what they used for the horse's head? Was it an old shoe? Or was it a welly boot? The answer is behind the cloud. Look, the answer is a welly boot. Watch this. Let's practice walking. Ready? Ready. Left. Now right. Left. 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 Right. Hurry up, you two! Wow! Hey! Hey! Great game! That was good fun. See you soon! Let's go! <laughs> What's in our party bags now, please? Yes. Oh, oh, you can... There was a face painter at Vinda's party and we had cake and party bags. Look, a whistle! Oh. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
What have you got? Uh. A pirate! Oh. Ooh, I'm going to make you walk the plank. Oh, arr. What's in your party bag, Topsy? We'll have a look in the minute, Tim. Where's Mummy Dominic? Oh, she's gone to see oh. her friend, remember? Oh. Come on. I'll take your shoes off for you. Mummy's gone to see her friend, Julie, and she won't be back until late. Dominique is looking after us until Dad gets home from work. <laughs> <laughs> don't you want to play, Topsy? I don't feel like it, Dominique. Oh, that doesn't sound like you. Are you OK? I don't feel very well. Please, can you take my butterfly face paint off? It's itchy. Of course. Come with me. I feel really hot on me. Well, it has been a busy day. Now, just hold still while I take off this last little bit. Oh, oh don't scratch, sweetie. Uh, oh. Come out here. Two red spots on your forehead. Oh, come on here. Let me see your tummy. You've got one, two, three spots on your tummy as well. I think you've got chicken pox, Topsy. Chicken pox? Yes, lots of children at nursery have had them recently. Andy Anderson and little Stevie Dunton had them as well. I don't want chicken pox. I want my mummy. Oh, I know. I tell you what, I'm going to call the doctor and then we'll phone your mummy. How about that? Come on. Thank you, doctor. Yes, I understand. OK, bye-bye. Oh, poor Topsy. Dr Price said your spots are chicken pox. Please, can we speak to mummy on the phone, Dominique? Yes, we'll call her now. Dominique phones Mummy's phone, but Mummy doesn't answer the call. Now, now, Kerry, Tim, please will you quieten down for me? Why? Because Topsy's not very well. She's got chicken pox. How do you know Topsy has chicken pox? Because she has spots. Look. Can I see your spots, Topsy? I've got two on my forehead and three on my tummy. What does it feel like, Topsy? It's all itchy. I want Mummy. Poor Topsy. That's it. Time to get into bed now. There we are. <laughs> Snuggle down, sweetie. When I'm in bed, Dominique wiped off Tim and Kerry's face paint in the bathroom. But Topsy's the only one with chicken pox spots. I've brought up the sausage dog for you. Hello, Topsy. <laughs> Thanks, Tim. Can I see your spots again? Oh, you've got some spots in your cheek now. One, two, three spots. I've spoken to your dad on the telephone, Topsy, and he's going to come home as soon as he can. Now, he asked me to give you some of this medicine. Just one spoonful. Mm. Have you tried calling Mummy's telephone again? Yes, but it's still switched off. Sorry, mm. Topsy. I did leave her a message, though. Mm. That's OK. I've got this on my to cuddle. <laughs> Good. Mm. Now, will you try and get some rest for me? Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Dominique. Thanks, Tim. <laughs> Get well soon, Topsy. Later, Kerry and I make Topsy Get Well Soon card. And Mike. Look, I've drawn a picture of Topsy, Tim. <laughs> that doesn't look like Topsy yet. Can I do something, please, Kerry? There. 
I just want some red spots on Topsy. <laughs> now that looks like Topsy now. Hello? Where are you all? <laughs> Topsy! Are you feeling any better? A little bit better. Come sit over here, Topsy. <laughs> Aww. Look, Topsy, we made a card for you. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> it's spotty, like me. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy! Oh, it's you, Dad. Hello. Oh, hello, my little Topsy twin. I hear you've got the chicken pops. Not the chicken pops, Dad. <laughs> the chicken pops. <laughs> How are you feeling? A bit, a bit better <laughs> now that you're here. Oh, good. Now, how about I take over from Dominique and look after you instead? <laughs> Thank you so much for staying with them. Oh, poorly Topsy. You're welcome. After Dominique and Carrie go, we all snuggle up under a blanket on the sofa. Dad lets us watch a film, right to the end. The end. Right. Time for bed. You both need a good night's sleep. <sighs> oh, I think you've got little Moon Bunny. Oh, where's Moon Bunny? Where's Moon Bunny? Go get her. Can't we stay up until Mummy goes back? No, I'm sorry, Topsy. It's important you get your sleep. But Mummy... We'll come straight up and give you a kiss when she gets back, I promise. OK? I'm back! <gasps> Mummy! How's my top-tastic Topsy? I've got chicken pox. Oh, so I hear. I rushed back as soon as I switched my phone on and got my message. I missed you. Oh, darling. Go say hello. And how is my twin tabulous Tim? <laughs> Have you been looking after Topsy for me? Yes. Kiri and I made Topsy get well soon card. And that's when Mummy said, Tim, you feel so hot. I think you've got chicken pox too. You feel a little bit hot, Tim. I think you might have chicken pox too. Do I have spots? Let me see. You've got two red spots on your forehead, Tim. Oh, you Just both... like me. <laughs> you both got chicken pox. They probably look like that. Chicken pox. Chicken pox. <laughs> no more play dates or parties until you're both better. Oh. That's right, Topsy and Tim. But right now, it's time that we got you two into bed. Come on. And that, said Mummy, was, was that. that? Remembering. Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today, Topsy had chicken pox. But can you remember who else got chicken pox? Was it Dad? Or was it Tim? The answer is behind the cloud. The answer is me, Tim. Watch this. You feel a little bit hot, Tim. I think you might have chicken pox too. Do I have spots? Let me see. You've got two red spots on your forehead, Tim. Great game. That was good fun. See you soon. Tim, I want to be as tall as a kangaroo. And We've got an animal height chart in our kitchen. Right, Topsy and Tim, who's first? Me, 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 me. Mummy measures us to see how much we've grown. I'm always taller than Topsy. You're a cheater now, Topsy. Yay! <laughs> I'm a cheater. I'm as tall as you are. Your turn. Come on in. Let's My get you in. That's right. Oh, you've grown too, Tim. Yay! But you're not yet a pony. You're still a Aww. cheater. It's not fair. I'm as tall as you are. I'm as tall as you are. It doesn't matter.
matter. I'm going to be a pony before you are. But you're still a cheetah. You're both cheetahs together. Yeah, we're cheetah twins. Rawr! 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 I've got a job for two cheetahs. Look. Are those sunflower seeds, Mummy? Yes, they are. Can mm. we plant them? Please double, double please. please double please. You can. And if you plant them somewhere sunny in our garden, they will grow into lovely tall sunflowers. There you go. And Tim? Thank you. And you can keep them safe in these pots. One, two. There you go. One, two. Perfect. <laughs> Let's go and plant them. Oh, good idea. Yeah. Come on, Tim. Don't forget your trowels. Oh, yeah. We won't. Here we are. Let's dig holes here, Tim. OK. We love our garden, even though it is very, very small. And the lawn is not real grass. It's plastic grass. <laughs> Can I have a turn, please, Tim? Yes, but let me first. Ooh, it's so slimy. Let me have a turn. OK. Ew. Ew. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think the worm might eat our sunflower seeds, Topsy? No. Worm doesn't eat a whole seed, could it? No, but I'm going to keep it in my pot, just in case. Oh, no! I've lost one of my seeds! Oh, where's my seed? I don't know. Oh, no! It doesn't matter. I've still got both of my seeds. We can share them if you like. Thanks, Topsy. Now let's plant them. One, two, three. I'll go and get some water. OK. I'm going to keep our worm in my pot. We put our seeds into the soil and water them. Our sunflowers will grow really, really tall, just like us. There you go, it's all covered up. Topsy, Tim, time for lunch. OK. Come in, Mummy. After lunch, we'll check to see if our seeds are growing. OK. You can come to lunch too, little one. Wash, please, Tim. Oh, OK. You too, Topsy, come on. Super wash, please. Coming. Mmm. Yes, we right. love cheesy potatoes. It's our favourite lunch. Mmm, yum. Mummy? Worms like cheesy baked potato, or maybe carrot or broccoli. What have you got there, Tim? It's my worm. Oh, so I see. And this pot here is its house. Well, Tim, worms live in the garden, so come on outside, please. But I'm trying to keep the sunflower seeds safe. From the worm. It could eat them. Outside, please. Aww. Thank you. Off you go, Wrigley Worm. But Mummy says that worms don't eat sunflower seeds. Worms are good for the soil. Hmm. Our sunflowers aren't growing, Tim. Hmm. Mummy, when will our sunflowers grow? Well, it actually takes quite a long time. They'll just be getting tall as we move house. Yay! Yay. <laughs> we 
want a moving house party, don't we, Tim? Please, Mummy. OK, I think that's a great idea. <laughs> Let's have a bye-bye barbecue out here. Yeah! <laughs> Good idea. <laughs> And that was ages ago, wasn't it, Topsy? Yes, today is our Bye Bye Barbecue Party. Hello, here we go. Right, that was our boys. There you go. Nice. All our friends and neighbours are here. Because we're moving house in... Four days' time! You're as tall as a cheetah. Yeah! Mummy is measuring us all. Our friend Kerry is a cheetah. Oh, Tim, you've grown. You are now a pony. <laughs> yes, I'm a pony! <laughs> I'm doing Topsy. Actually, Tim, I've already measured Topsy, and she's a pony too. Look. Oh, but. I'm a tall pony and Topsy. <laughs> it's enough silliness, Tim. You're both big and tall now. <laughs> hey, why didn't I show Kerry our sunflowers outside? They're taller than all of us. Are they? Show me. Come on. Come on, Tim. Oh, ta-da! <laughs> our sunflowers. Look, Kerry. One, two, three sunflowers. They're so tall, Topsy. And remember the seed I lost? Look. Now I know where I dropped it. In a plant pot by the shed. Look, it grew into a big sunflower too. And that's when Dad said... Your sunflowers will be lovely for the new people who come to live in our house, Topsy and Tim. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And we can plant more sunflowers in our new garden. Hey, great idea, Topsy. Brian, Topsy and Tim, come over here, please. Come on, Topsy. Come on, Topsy. Come on, Topsy. <laughs> Good girl. Right, we just wanted to say thank you to you, all of our friends, for coming to our Bye Bye Barbecue. <laughs> it's only four days now until we move to our new house. <laughs> <laughs> you will all come and see us in our new house, won't you? Please. Yeah, that's <laughs> Good. Yay. Well, the barbecue's ready, so everybody tuck in. <laughs> and that's the mummy. What was that? <laughs> Good at remembering. Can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today we planted some seeds in our garden. Can you remember the name of the flowers that grew from our seeds? Were they sunflowers? Or were they daisies? The answer is behind the clouds. Look, the answer is sunflowers. Did you remember? Watch this. <laughs> Ta-da! Our sunflowers. Look, Kerry. One, two, three sunflowers. They're so tall, Topsy. Great game. That was good fun. See you soon. Here you go, Mummy. Thank you. It's not much space for them. No, it's full now, isn't it? Mummy and I are packing all of our books into boxes, ready to move them to our new house. Can I hold them down? Yes, please. Can you hold the tape for me? Thank you, Topsy. and his mum are here with Tony's new baby brother to measure our bunk beds. 
They're having our bunk beds when we move. Really adorable. Hi, Tony. Shh. Hi, Topsy. Why are you whispering? Baby Jack is sleeping. Where's Tim? In the kitchen with DIY Derek. <laughs> Down for us, lovely. Hi, oh, Tony. There, thank you. And those. May I play with Baby Jack Elaine? Yes, of course, Topsy. When he wakes up. <laughs> when is he going to wake up, Elaine? <laughs> Not yet. Baby Jack needs his sleep. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Jack is asleep. Oh, okay. I've done the washing machine. What's next, Joy? Oh, great. Um, do you have a tape measure, please, Derek? Elaine, Tony's mum, is here to measure Topsy and Tim's bunk bed. I certainly do. <laughs> now, do you want me to measure it for Tony's mum, or do you two want to measure it with me using my tape measure? Yes! yes. Let's go and get to work. Quietly. Come on. in my bedroom. Good. Oh, now, let's measure them for your mum to check that they'll fit in your bedroom, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> OK, let's have the tape measure. Right, now then, Tony Welch, I want you to hold that there at the end of the bed. Mm. OK, Derek. Topsy, can you take the rest of the tape measure right to the other end of the bed? Is it OK if you saw Moo Bunny help? I think that's a very good idea. Right to the end. Can you reach? Just. That's good. Well done. OK, that's that's nice and straight. OK, now let me take that. Let me see how long the beds are. Oh! <laughs> I slipped out of my fingers. Sorry, Derek. That's all right. Never mind. We'll try again, shall we? Everyone? Yeah. OK, yeah. let's try again. Right. Hold it nice and tight there, Tony Welch. Topsy, same again. I might not do it with Little Moon Bunny this Without time. Little Moon Bunny this time's a good idea. Okay. Right. Well done. OK, I've got it. Both of you move away so I can see. And let's see what the measurement for this one is. 94... To... <laughs> oh, it slipped out of my fingers again. Sorry, Derek. Never mind. You two are not very good using the tape measure, are you? <laughs> I know. Tony Welch, can you look after my tape measure for me, please? I've got an idea. We're going to use this to measure instead. Dr Sausage Dog? Yes. How many Dr Sausage Dogs can we measure along the bunk? I don't know. Well, I'll show you, shall I? OK. Now, Topsy, you hold Dr Sausage Dog's nose it, at there. It's quite high. It is quite high, but you can reach. That's good. Now, you put your hand right on the end, like that, there. And what we're going to do is we're going to go nose to tail. Nose to tail, all the way <laughs> along the bed. OK? Is that good? OK, so nose, nose to, to tail. tail. Topsy, One, you do two. that. That's two. And nose, nose to, to tail. tail. Three. That's three. Together, we move Dr Sausage Dog along nose the bunk bed four times. Just about four Dr Sausage Dogs. There we are. Our bunk bed's four Dr Sausage Dogs. Yeah, right. Better write that down for Dr Sausage Dogs. There's some tea down in the kitchen for you, Derek, Thank and you. some juice for your helpers. Yay! Coming, Mummy! I'm bringing Little Moon Bunny to show Baby Jack. Good idea. Did you know the bunk beds are four Dr Sausage Dogs long, Mrs O'Dell? Really? <laughs> that is good work. Isn't it? <laughs> now then, shall we measure how high they are? Yeah! Come down here then and let's measure how high they are. I want... We finished measuring our bunk beds and had our drinks, but Baby Jack is still asleep. <laughs> when will Baby Jack wake up?
help, Elaine. Oh, I'm sure it won't be long now, Topsy. Right. Thanks for the tea, Joy, and I hope the move goes well. Oh, thanks for your help, Derek. Uh, and thanks for your clever way of measuring the bunk beds. I've got all my Dr Sausage Dog measurements, thank you. Ah, well, no, don't thank me. Thank my helpers, Tomsy, Tip and Tiny. <laughs> <laughs> We're not Tomsy, Tip and Tiny. We're Topsy and Tim and Tony. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I've got to go. Bye, all. Bye, Derek. Bye. The tape measure! through all the noise. No need to look so worried, helper. And thank you for that. Bye, all. Oh, thanks for coming, Derek. See you soon. Bye. Thanks, Joy. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Oh. Baby Jack's never going to wake up and play with me. <laughs> Talk now, Baby Jack's waking up. I'll speak to you later. Yes, Baby Jack's awake. Do you like Little Moon Bunny? Oh. Hello, Baby Jack. Oh, he's gorgeous. How are you? <laughs> he's not answering. Oh, not yet. <laughs> Baby Jack had to milk, a burp, and a nappy change, and then he was ready to play with us. Hello, I'm Middy Teddy. I'm Little Moon Bunny. Hello. Hello, Baby Jack. Nice to meet you. <laughs> what about Dr Sausage Dog? <laughs> He's reaching for Dr Sausage Dog. Oh. Look, Mum! Oh, look at that big Baby Jack smile. He's never smiled like that before. Oh. You're oh. right. It's his first big smile. <laughs> <laughs> He's so cute. Yeah. And that's what Mummy said. Next time we play with Baby Jack, we'll be in our new house. Next time we play with Baby Jack, we'll be in our new house, Topsy and Tim. He won't even remember that we ever lived in this house. Isn't that strange? I'll never forget this house, Baby Jack. <laughs> We've lived in this house since we were babies. Like you, we love our house. And you'll love our new house. Just as much. <laughs> <laughs> and that, said Mummy, was that. <laughs> measured our bunk beds with DIY Derek. Can you remember which toy we used to measure our bunk beds? Was it Eddie Teddy? Or was it Dr Sausage Dog? The answer is behind the cloud. Look, the answer is Dr Sausage Dog. Watch this. I know. Tony Welch, can you look after my tape measure for me, please? I've got an idea. We're going to use this to measure instead. Dr Sausage Dog? Yes. How many Dr Sausage Dogs can we measure along the bunk? Great game! That was good fun. See you soon! <gasps> They're here! Kerry's mum and dad are at the door. They're having dinner with our mummy and dad tonight. It's a goodbye dinner party for grown-ups. Because we're moving house tomorrow. Hi guys, come on in! <laughs> Hi Brian, hi Joy. Thanks for inviting us. <laughs> This trifle for pudding. Oh, thank you. Can we help with any last minute packing? No, no, thanks, Carson. We're all set for the moving van in the morning, as you can see. Oh, hello, Carson. Hello, Carson. Hello, Carson. 
Hello, Topsy and Tim. Are you excited about the move tomorrow? Yes. Yes. Where's Kerry? Oh, she's with Danielle, the babysitter. Wow, Dominique, that trifle looks so nice. <laughs> <laughs> Please, can we come down and have some? Oh, no, Topsy, I'm sorry. This is our pudding. Oh. Please don't eat it all tonight. <laughs> Please, can you save some trifle for us? <laughs> Maybe. But right now, you need to say goodnight to everyone and I'll come up and tuck you in. Good night, everyone. Good night, Good night. Good night. Come on. Wait for me. Mummy tucks us into our beds. Night, night, my top tastic twins. Straight off to sleep, please. Tomorrow is a very busy day. So we lie in bed for ages and think about moving house tomorrow. But we can't sleep. Tim? Yes, Topsy. I think I'm too excited to get to sleep. Me too. I'm wide awake. <laughs> Tomorrow night, we'll be in our own separate bedrooms in our new house. And these bunk beds will be in Tony Wilcher's house. Oh, yeah. This is our last night of sleeping in our bunk beds before we give them to Tony. We'll miss our bunk beds. Never sleep on the bottom bunk again. No one ever sleep on the top bunk again. Let's hop round one last time. Yes. I'm going to go and see. Come on, little moon buddy. Come on, Tim. I love you, little moon bunny. Did anyone see you? I don't think so. I saw Mummy. Did you see the trifle? No, I didn't. Why don't you go down and get Daddy Daddy and see it? <laughs> OK. <laughs> Eddie, Teddy and I go to spy on the trifle. <laughs> the trifle so I get a little bit closer. <laughs> How long did that take? Not long actually, about 20 minutes. Because you, you ate the first two attempts, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> totally. <laughs> <laughs> 
the custard. custard. I didn't make the custard from scratch, I have to admit. Mm. Well, it looks absolutely incredible. Who wants some? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's mine. <laughs> yeah. That's mine. That's mine. That's mine. That's mine. That's mine. That's mine. They're eating the trifle now, Topsy. We go back to bed and I think about the trifle until I hear them leaving. <laughs> oh, thank you so much for the lovely dinner. Oh, thank you for coming. I'm really going to miss having you so close by. Remember, we're only moving two roads away. Oh, you still bring Carrie over to play. <laughs> oh. Well, we'll come and wave My you off tomorrow. Oh, and um, I hope Topsy and Tim enjoy the trifle we left for them. Oh, well, thank you. I'm sure they will. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> See you soon. No <laughs> Bye. Get home safely. Bye. See you later. Mm -hmm. Trifle. Topsy, are you still awake? Yeah, there's some trifle for us. Hooray! <laughs> Quick, get into bed. <laughs> Mummy and Dad heard us and came up to our bedroom. Hello, Mummy. Hello, Daddy. Hello, Mummy. Hello, Dad. Topsy, Tim, have you swapped bunk beds again? Why aren't you both asleep? We were too excited about tomorrow. Sorry. Mm, sorry. And that's when Mummy said, That's, that's okay. okay. Moving house is a big, big adventure. adventure. That's okay. Moving house is a big adventure, Topsy and Tim. I don't think I'll get much sleep tonight either, but I'm going to try. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm excited about waking up and having trifle for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> the whole thing? The whole thing. And that is worth going to sleep for. And that, said Dad, was that. Remembering, can you remember what happened to us today? This is our Topsy and Tim memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today, Mummy and Dad had a goodbye dinner party for grown ups. Can you remember what pudding Carson and Dominique brought around? Was it trifle or was it a cake? The answer is behind the cloud. The answer is a trifle. Mm. Watch this. Hi, guys. Come on in. <laughs> Hi, Brian. Hi, Joy. Thanks for inviting us. I bought a trifle for pudding. Thank you. Can we help with any last-minute packing? No, no, thanks, Carson. We're all ready for the removal van in the morning, as you can see. Oh, hello, Topsy and Tim. Are you excited about the move tomorrow? Yeah. Yes. Where's Kerry? Oh, she's with Danielle, the babysitter. Wow, Dominique, that trifle looks so nice. <laughs> Please, can we come down and have some? Oh, no, Topsy, I'm sorry. This is our pudding. Please don't eat it all tonight. <laughs> Please, can you save some trifle for us? <laughs> Great game! <laughs> that was good fun. See you soon! wants us to help him with our bunk beds. Tony Welch and his mum and dad will be here soon to collect them. Yeah. Oh, our bedroom looks really strange. It doesn't look like our bedroom anymore. Well, by tonight, you'll have a new bedroom. One each. Yes! <laughs> I love our bunk beds. 
Doctor, only Welch will love them too. <laughs> Dad? Mm hmm Please may I keep this sticker from the bunk bed? Yeah, that's a good idea, Tim. Tipsy, why don't you choose a sticker to keep too? Okay. I'll have this butterfly sticker. Okay. I'll look after them for you. Thanks, Dad. Okay. Right, I better get these downstairs. And remember, you can stick your stickers on your new beds in your new bedroom tonight. I can't wait! <laughs> Tony Welch! Oh, go on down, you two. But it isn't Tony Welch at the door. It's the removal people. Wow, that's huge! It's all black. Today, all of our furniture is going to be put into this removal van. Better ask Sid. Let's go. And then Sid and Lorna will drive it all to our new house. Can we come up, please, Sid? Yes, you can. Come on. There we go. All tight. Up we go. This removal van is huge. I love the lift on the back. Furniture fit in here, Sid. Uh, yes, Tim, it will. We'll start by getting our toys for you. Thank you, Topsy and Tim. Come on. Oh, yeah! Come on, Tim! Down we go. Find I bring all of my favourite toys downstairs and put them in the trolley, ready to go to the removal van. Please. Hello. We brought you a present. Oh. They're blueberry muffins. <gasps> Thank you, Carrie. Can I have one, please? Of course you can, once we finish packing. Thank you. <laughs> we should make some more so I can have one, Mummy. Mm, we <laughs> should. Well, we better get going because we're going to wave you off later. I'll wave goodbye to See you. Later. I'll wave goodbye later, Tim. Bye. Okay, bye. Bye bye. 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 You got all your toys, Tim? Um, yes, Dad. I've got all of mine, and Topsy's just upstairs getting little moon bunny. Topsy, are you ready? Look at it, Teddy. Nearly everything's gone. Topsy and Tim. Can I just say, you two have been the biggest help today. Moving house makes me feel happy and sad. At the same time, Dad. And me. Me too. Tea break, everyone. <gasps> Good. <gasps> Dad has a cup of tea on the front lawn, then pretends to fall asleep in the armchair. <laughs> Wake up, Dad! <laughs> Dad! Were you asleep? No, I was resting my <laughs> eyes. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'll just get the screws for the bunk bed. It's heavy. Top or the bottom bunk, Tony? I think I might sleep on the top bunk. Good choice. Help me lift this, Tony. Oh, and what do we say? <laughs> Thank you for the bunk bed, Stopsy and Tim. Oh, it's okay. It's very kind of you both. Oh, Stopsy and Tim. 
Come inside, please. We need to say bye bye to our house. Oh, yeah. We went back inside one more time and we said goodbye to every room. Now we just need to say goodbye out here. Bye, house. Bye, garden. Bye, front door. We will miss you. We've had some great times in this little house, haven't we? Yeah. But we're going to have even more <laughs> wonderful adventures in our new house. I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Everyone ready to go? Yes. 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 Come on. Wait, wait, you've forgotten something. Hello, Mr Fishwick. Hello and bye-bye, Mr Fishwick. I couldn't let my friends Topsy and Tim leave without a little present. I hope that's OK, Brian and Joy. A rabbit! A rabbit! <laughs> well, you'll need another one to keep him company, though. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you, Mr Fishwick. Thank you. My pleasure. Can we keep him, Dad? Please, Mummy. Please, double please. And that's when Dad said, Yes, you can keep the rabbit. Yes, you can keep the rabbit, Topsy and Tim. <laughs> Mr Fishwick told us all about it. So the rabbit's food and hutch are already at our new house. <laughs> He's wiggling his nose. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr Fishwick. Mind your fingers. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Have a visit us in our new house soon. We will. Here we go. And that said, everyone, was that? Remembering, can you remember what happened to us today? This is our top scene to a memory game. Let's play. <laughs> today we were moving house. Can you remember what Mr. Fishwick gave us as a moving house present? Was it a rabbit or was it a guinea pig? The answer is behind the cloud. Look, the answer is a rabbit. Watch this. Wait, wait, you've forgotten something. Hello, Mr. Fishwick. Hello and bye-bye, Mr. Fishwick. I couldn't let my friends Topsy and Tim leave without a little present. I hope that's OK, Brian. Yes. A rabbit! A rabbit! <laughs> well, you'll need another one to keep him company, though. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, Mr Fishwick. Fishwick. Thank you. My pleasure. Great game! That was good fun. See you soon. On the day we moved house, I was awake early. I was too excited to sleep. Topsy, are you awake? Yes. <sighs> Tim, you'll wake up Mummy and Dad. Oh, sorry. But I just wanted to check in the garden and see if Dad packed my quad bike. He did. Great. Remember that time when Tony March wouldn't get off your quad bike, Tim? Yes, I 
Yes, I remember. <laughs> Hi, Tony Welch. How are you? I'm fine, Mrs. Odell. Thanks for inviting me to play with Tim. Oh. Hi, Tony. Hi, Tim. Hello, you two. <laughs> Hi, Elaine. Hi, Elaine. Go hey, on. Tony, come on. Bye, Tony. Be good. While we wait for Vinda, Mummy shows me how to make icing. Yummy. <laughs> Mummy, where is Vinda? Oh, I'm sure Vinda will be here any minute. Now, come on. Let's ice these cakes before the icing goes hard. Tony, my turn now. Please, can I just have one more go? <laughs> I've remembered something else that was fun that we did in this house. Remember when we looked after Carrie's guinea pigs? But they got out of their cage. <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen. Shh. I heard squeaking. It's coming from very nearby. <laughs> You really are. <laughs> Bailey and Poppy are very lucky. Thank you for your help, Mr Fishwick. Thank you. <laughs> That's my pleasure. Gently now. Do you think Mummy and Dad are awake yet? No. I think we're the only people awake in our house. So quiet. Listen. Monsters with Dad. <laughs> yes, I remember. Hatch, Pep! Okay. <laughs> 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 hey, come the pillows! And the pillows! <laughs> I've got little moon bunny! I'm getting Addy Paddy and Dr. Sausage Dog! And I've got your books, twins! Thank you! Do they monster now? <laughs> no, 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 get back, get back, get back, get back! There's two of them! No! No! Being eaten! No! No, they're eating me up! No! We've woken up early for Mummy and Dad. Because we're excited about moving house today. Tim, I've got an idea. What? We could dress up and surprise Mummy and Daddy. Oh, yeah. Come on. Oh, oh look at this. Oh, oh, look at this. No, actually, this. Yeah, this. Do I look good? Yes. You look good, Tim. Thank you. <laughs> Glasses! <laughs> and the bunnies. And the hat. 
Do you remember when Tony and I dressed up as a horse for Vinda's birthday party? <laughs> Let's practice walking. Ready? Ready. Left. Now right. Left. 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 Right. Hurry up, you two. Come on, Tim. Let's go and wake up Mummy and Dad for the last time ever in this house. Yeah. <gasps> I thought I heard something. What are you two up to? Mummy, I couldn't sleep. We're too excited about moving house. Oh, now, come on, let's get all this off. Get back into bed quickly for me. Good girl. Get quickly, quickly. Back into bed, good boy. Oh, wait, let's find those up. <laughs> good girl. Snuggle up with little moon bunny. And that's when Mummy said, I remember when you were tiny little babies sleeping in cots in this room. I remember when you were tiny little babies sleeping in cots in this room, Topsy and Tim. And now you're all grown up. Please try and go back to sleep for me. We will. OK. He's a good boy. Night, night, little moon bunny. Night, night, Topsy. What do you think moving house day is going to be like? I don't know. Shh. Try and get to sleep. OK. Of course, moving house day was amazing. And we got a very special goodbye present from our neighbour, Mr Fishwick. Wait, wait, you've forgotten something. Hello, Mr Fishwick. Hello and bye-bye, Mr Fishwick. I couldn't let my friends Topsy and Tim leave without a little present. I hope that's OK, Brian and Joy. A rabbit! A rabbit! <laughs> well, you'll need another one to keep him company, though. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you, Mr Fishwick. Thank you. My pleasure. Can we keep him, Dad? Please, Mummy. Please, double please. And that's when Dad said, Yes, you can keep the rabbit. Yes, you can keep the rabbit, Topsy and Tim. <laughs> Mr Fishwick told us all about it. So the rabbit's food and hutch are already at our new house. <laughs> He's wiggling his nose. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr Fishwick. Find your fingers. Bye-bye. Bye. Have a visit us in our new house soon. We will. Here we go. And that said, everyone, 